people have to have, young people more specifically, have to have uh, modes in which they can address that situation so they don't feel alienated. We want them to feel engaged and pushing back and challenging. We want them to say to America and prove to America through uh, their efforts that, you know, no, we're not terrorist suspects. We are America's brightest prospects. Uh, we need them to be able to realize how they can use their techniques in cyberspace to beat back the uh, Islamophobe bloggers. And uh, because you know you mentioned Ground Zero, much of that was whipped up by some right-wing bloggers, you know, who kind of created this irrational fear about a Muslim being able to have a center, you know, uh, in the proximity. A Muslim being able to build an Islamic center within the proximity of ground zero. So we want them to be able to be empowered because I think that's what you know, combats alienation is engagement. And I can say from, you know, I came out of, you know, I'm a convert. I converted to Islam 34 years ago, in the best days of my life. But nevertheless, there were other days also that I was, there were good days because I came out of the civil rights movement which is primarily rooted in the black church. And so one of the ways that we dealt with our frustrations of seeing our parents you know, demonized and, and dehumanized was to be involved in the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, to do sit-ins, demonstrations, and so like that. So rather than being alienated, now I'm empowered, you know, because I can see that I'm making a difference. And that's the same type of uh, uh, example and that same type of model that we want to provide for Muslim youth that they can make a difference and and they are in many respects they're, they're making a difference so again that alienation is combated through engagement you know meaningful engagement I think that's the other thing too I think that young Muslims realize that they don't have to prove anything they're Americans unlike their parents and their grandparents who are really somewhat still stuck on this validation situation in which you know they feel well I have to continue to validate that I'm an American I'm a good American young Muslims are way past that you know they know they're American they have no there there's no question about that you know so what they want to know is you know how am I going to navigate my existence as an American Muslim in America and how am I going to deal with America dealing with me and my faith tradition and and so I think that young people are really engaged around that. And if you look throughout American history, we've always had this yin and yang of being, it's the best of times and it's the worst of times. And so, however, the redeeming quality I think about America is that despite our trials and tribulations, some kind of way, and I have to say, divine providence being the religious person that I am, uh, finds a way to help us get it right. We got it right with slavery. We got it right with uh, the uh, disenfranchisement of women. We got it right with the immigrants who came from Europe to work in our factories and, 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 and other places. We got it right with uh, the civil rights movement. We got it right with the anti-war movement in terms of Vietnam. And so uh, we always find a way to get it right. Now, we do get it wrong. And I think in this case, we've got it wrong now. I think what's exacerbating the conditions also is the economic situation in which we're facing. Normally, when people have economic hard times in America, then there's a tendency to blame the others. In this case, it seems that the blame game, uh, or at least the groups that are taking the brunt of the blame game, are certainly uh, the Latino community and the Muslim community, and that xenophobia becomes uh, sometime the name of the game, not to mention crass politics. But I'm always somewhat inspired by King, and to slightly paraphrase it, the coward will ask, is it safe? Politics will ask, is it popular? But conscience will ask, is it right? And in the case of the uh, Islamic Center near Ground Zero, I would add one more. And the Constitution will ask, is it lawful?